Yo, what's going on guys? It's Tome TV here, back at it for another playthrough series. Today we're gonna be playing the casting of Frank Stone, which was just released today. And it's kind of like one of those games where you are supposed to like make decisions and those decisions have uh positive well positive and negative outcomes, but butterfly effect. What have you. If you play games like The Quarry and Until Dawn, it's kind of like that, but it's all it's set in the world of Dead by Daylight. So you'll get some of the lore if you've played that game. Oh, and if you enjoyed this playthrough series, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment. I really appreciate everything you guys do. Now let's get to it. A world within a story whispered to me centuries ago. Of a timeless power. Infinite in knowledge. The campfire. Voracious in hunger. This the is entity. Like Elden Ring, the Char here. So close to ours, but always out of reach. Until I found him, Frank Stone, my key, my killer. I am Augustine Lieber, and I'm about to change our worlds forever. Is she the creator of the entity? Oh shit. Dude, I'm so excited for this game. We're gonna learn more about the lore of DVD. Hopefully. The camera? It's like a zombie dog from Resident Evil. From for missing infant. Cedar Steel Core. Burning Maw. Oh, so I guess we're like going back in time. I'm assuming you're the night watchman here. I am. Or just you? Covering the entire site? Oh, no. I got help. Where are they now? On duty? Of a manor. Merlin just goes where he pleases. Merlin? My dog. Doberman Pincher. Best friend a fella could ask for. Loyal to the seventh horn sounds. Trust him more than I trust myself. To ask a few questions. I need to ask you a few questions. I'm yours to dispose of. Can I have your name? Thomas Jefferson Holt. Call me Tom. Officer Sam Green. Tom, I want to talk to you about. I know it about. Mm -hmm. That missing boy, right? 
That's right. You think he could be missing here? This mill looks a big place. Biggest in all Cedar Hills. Heard the baby. That don't make no difference. Ain't no funny business going on around here. Not undermining Merlin's noses. Found. I take it. You sound confident. And rightly so. Can I check your records? No records. Mm. The logbook, visitors to the mill, out of our shifts, that sort of thing. All oh, right, right. Uh, uh, I'm well, there. Gotta be here someplace. Is that it? Uh, it's okay. Allow me. I see. Wow, there's a lot of options here. Someone's been faking the entries, accusatory. I don't want to accuse him yet. Questioning, notice anything. Ah, uh, let's be accusatory. Fuck it. Someone's been faking the entries. No. Who? I'm guessing you, Tom. Me? Well, maybe your partner Merlin helps you. Sounds like he's expected to pick up all your slack. It ain't like that. I don't do it for me. I just got to cover for some of the mother fellas now and then. The ones who won't sign in or out. Got any names for me? Uh, what is it now? Hank, maybe? Oh, oh no, 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 no. Fred something. Yeah, that's it. Fred's, Fred some. Come on, Tom. Dang, he sees. Sorry, Sam. <laughs> I don't remember. <laughs> Alcohol does tend to impair the memory. Mm. Now, what you come out here for? To give a veteran a hard time about his medicinal practices? No. I'm here because a child is missing. And every minute wasted is another chance gone to find him. Boy, you ain't gonna find him here. I'd know it in my bones if that boy were within a mile of this mill. Listen, I'd like to say... What makes you so sure? Is ESP a side effect of your medicinal practices? Now that is out of line! <laughs> Sorry, officer. I want to help. I really do, but... I don't know what else to tell you. Welcome to have a look around the place yourself. Thank you, Tom. I think I feel, I'll do that. I feel like this guy's gonna die. <laughs> is that how, like, all the horror story starts? Being intrusive. Mm-hmm. Bro is napping. I'm police officer. Gonna take a look around. Maybe die. looks good they always choose like a uh, doberman for like a creepy game like this or like silent uh not silent hill um resident evil they use the dobermans for the in like the original movie find a way into the mill just like that Thunder's instinct. Stuff, something over here. Right there. Can't get over there though. No entry, staff only. Mm. 
He's called Merlin. An open window. Oh. I can get in through there. Creep it all. Why would you come here alone? That's my question. At least have your partner with you for backup in case something goes wrong. Being a police officer doesn't make you invincible. Shed number two. Value of each bundle in this area. Perfect object. Friday, thirteenth afternoon. Weekly road to Friday. Okay, so there's all the people. Frank Stone. Frank Stone's name. Frank Stone is on Thursday. On Friday. Oh no, Thursday. Move Dawkins and Stone off graveyard to pick up slack. No use running three crews with half the manpower. Dumb fella's gonna have to double up shifts. Hold the lumpkin out front. No, no one's working for a while. Employee personal record. They employed February 4th, surname. Yeah, it. Frank Stone. Date of birth 27, April 17. Current position, machinist. Address singer who. Peter Hills. Criminal records, one charge assault, robbery. Sponsor. Hmm. Frank Stone's record. Employment. A male employee got his job thanks to an endorsement from Dr. You will not be able to return to this area. Ah, it's a pallet from DVD. <laughs> There's the mill. Hello? Anyone here? It's police. We're running. We're running. Woo. Oh shit. There's something moving over there. I do not like it. That does not sound good. Let's go check it out. Ugh, smells like death. I think you're right. I 
That doesn't sound good. I like a monster. Hey, mister. That's Officer Green. Sure. You haven't seen Merlin, have you? No. Yeah. Sorry. Ugh. You all right there? Ugh. Yeah, it's just... Jesus, you don't smell that? <sighs> Sniffer's out of commission. <laughs> Got a little too up close and personal with a can of mustard gas back in the trenches. <laughs> Ugh. It can be a blessing in disguise. Ugh. Gotta find out where it's coming from. What's the smell like? Nothing good. <laughs> you want me to find something, buddy? You, you hiding something, Tom? Oh God. That's 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 disgusting. We wondered where you got to. That's scary. Come here, boy. Dang name it. Sure to like it if you two made proper acquaintance. God damn it. Ew. Bruh. Ear. That looks like any tongue or ear. I don't know. You put this out for him? No. It looks like someone else has found his way to your boy's heart. Through his stomach. It ain't possible. Merlin and me, we're a team. Who'd want to come between a man and his best friend? What's that? Some kind of wiener mate? Oh, that's an ear. That's not good. Oh, no. Will you look at that? That damn dog. Think that belongs to the boy you're looking for? from someone else. There's no proof it does. But what if... Do yourself a favor and park that thought. Because all your guesses so far tonight have been way off base. What the fuck? Dude, that's a human body, bro. He's not gonna, like, put him under suspicion? Dude, why are you following me around, bro? <laughs> that's creepy. This is not good, dude. This guy is, this cop is dumb, bro. I'll call for backup. Like pins and stuff. Huh. What was that sound? Stay behind me. This cop's gonna die, bro. So, what is this thing? The grape? Yeah, what is it for? <laughs> it's, uh... For the furnace, I think. You don't know for sure? Yeah, I work at the mill, not in the mill. Hmm. <sighs> Find something to pry open. That's what I need. Oh, crowbar. Gotcha. 
Some items can be kept and used later. Hey, it had the sound effect from DVD when you pick up an item. Cool. A small crowbar. Stand back. <laughs> Why do you help him, bro? What the hell? Bro is just standing there. All right. Take this. Use the radio in my car and call the station. Where, where are you going? You, you really think that boy's down there? I don't know. But I got a feeling, and it's not a good feeling. Hey. I'm gonna need you to take this, too. Make sure the sheriff gets this. Oh boy, I don't know. Sheriff could use a little pick me up right about now. I want to be a little drunk. You're sure you're better off keeping it frustrated. That's the last thing you need. Scornful. Yeah. Hey, you really want to be remembered as an old drunk who could have done something when he had the chance? That ain't you. Don't let that be you. I... I... Step up. Get your head straight. All right? Yes, sir. Dude, this cop has a lot of patience, I'll tell you that, bro, because he should be calling it in himself, getting back up, and then going down, not just... He's about to go down there, and this guy could just drop the that latch down on him. He'd be screwed. Ain't no way, bro. I knew that was gonna happen. Ooh, we get like the underground of the mill. That's cool. Yeah, find a way to the surface. Furnace chamber. Damn it. Oh, what the heck? Dude, where am I supposed to go? I'm just gonna go this way because we were facing this way. Whoa. Huh? Someone has engaged in strange rituals in the hidden areas of the mill. Furnace access. Bro, I swear it. Someone is literally behind me. Oh, yeah. This has got to be it. Oh, it's just water dropping. I was like, look. Those are rib cages, buddy. Ah, uh, this place turns my stomach. Huh. Hey, 
The hillbilly. Things get weirder and weirder down here. There's a man turned monster. Ooh. Oh, dude, that looks so cool. Yo. Goddamn small spaces. <clears throat> Press X when the pointer it. Hey, it's like seal checks from the game. Lost my hat. I don't know why he didn't pick his hat back up, bruh. Back. Oh shit. Crip. Oh shit. Ladder. We're gonna go the rampway. He's he was by the ramp he was by the ladder. Fuck that. Shit. <laughs> oh shit. Oh no. Come on, fight him, fight him, fight him! Damn! Yo, he's creepy as fuck. Stuff on the pipe. Oh my god, this is crazy. What the fuck is going on? Oh shit. Come on, boy. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Fuck yeah. Yeah. Fuck yeah. Drop rainstone and save the child. 
Damn. Kill, kill Frank Stone just like that. Oh. Jesus. <laughs> Sleep tight, motherfucker. Nice. Ain't no way we kill Frank Stone that fast. Come on. Ooh, the entity. Okay. This is right. We just go from one creek. Oh, it's some like Silent Hills type shit. Go from one creepy area to another. Ooh. Oh, got brighter out. Oh, hell no. Oh, oh no. What the heck is going on? Oh. Oh, she keeps on fading out. Like blood trail, the blood, the blood, the blood trails from DVD. Ah, that's cool. Very cool. Blood tracks. Oh. Oh, hell no. The way she's laughing is not right. Oh, no! 
Oh shit! Oh. That was the entity's hook. I remember reading about this and the creation of this game, and they were creating this part of the scene of the, the game. And they took like actual real life examples of like pictures of this road. Make it look better for this. Is that a hitchhiker? I've stopped. You need a lift? Reynolds got a flat. Oh, you're American. Yeah. So am I. Okay. <laughs> yeah, so do you mind giving me a lift? Right, sure, of course. You can drop me off at Garrett Manor. It's just a few miles up the road. Huh, weird. That's actually where I'm going, too. So oh. it's not out of your way. Uh, guess not. Driving on the right hand side. Interesting. <sighs> Just to pick up the hitchhiker. I thought like right hand drives were like, they're in, like. I wonder what country they're in. They I tell you, like in Europe they have right hand, and in Japan they have right hand as well. Some countries in Europe. So we're both going to the same place, huh? Yeah. What are the odds of that? <laughs> yeah. I mean, I guess it's not all that odd, seeing as, you know, we're already pretty close, and I don't think this road goes anywhere else. So, did you say you were going to Garrett Manor for business, or...? I did not. Mm. Oh. So, um, where are you from? From? Like, where do you live? Paris. That's where I'm from, currently. Before that, I was from Amsterdam, Dublin, Milan, Los Angeles, and Oregon. Is she like Once CIA? <laughs> That's cool. Hey, my mom's from Oregon. Well, one of them is. I always heard it was really nice. Or kind of a shithole, but like a really nice kind of shithole. I mean, I wouldn't know anyway because I've never been. I'm a big Apple girl, born and raised. Barely even made it north of 14th Street before going off to college. Here in England? Uh, no, Berlin, actually. Mm. Oh, I'm Maddie, by the way. Linda. It's nice to meet you, Maddie. Yeah, you too. Even if I was worried, you might try to clonk me. Ah, uh, sorry. Where are they? I wonder if they're in Paris. Curious. What? Let's get to know her a little bit more. Okay, so what do you do for a living that takes you all over the place? I'm a filmmaker. I travel a lot for film shoots and oh. festivals and all the other usual Hollywood bullshit. Oh, wow. I heard that's a real tough kind of job to get. Easy to get. Hard to keep. <laughs> Had to bury a few bodies, huh? <laughs> well, 
I've had to work real hard to get where I am, but I'd be kidding myself if I didn't also acknowledge there isn't a certain amount of dumb luck to it. <laughs> Come on. You don't just dumb luck your way into a successful film career. You'd be surprised. I never would have guessed this is what I'd end up doing with my life. Hmm, sure. Definitely seems like the kind of thing you just end up doing. Linda is grateful you pulled her over. Hey. Hey. Take a look. Oh. I think we've come to the end of the rainbow. It got creepy. In the house of darkness. A rock man. Okay, yeah, so that was the past. My oh, brainstorm's probably still alive. So they're in Paris, I'm guessing. This place is definitely a little too, uh... On the nose? Graphics look really good. A little too much like a horror movie. Exactly. So, um, do we just knock or? I'm not sure. Oh, I doorbell. Lights are just on too. Creepy. Maybe nobody's home. This is definitely when I was told to get here. Mm, me too. Hello? Anybody home? <laughs> it's a good rule of thumb to try every door. No, oh, you think? Well, they're expecting us, aren't they? No way, is it? Mm. Do we just go in? Why are you asking me? Because you're a grown up. So are you, Maddie. <sighs> then uh, here we go. Apparently. Why are all the lights off? Beats me. Hello? Let's take a look around. Um, hello? We're on a, a, a We've arrived. Neighbor. I run? Yeah, I was going. Hello. Hello. Really mm. digging these creepy cottage core oh. vibes. Uh, we got fire going. Has to be. Bruno Stafford, Stanford, 3S. All the good ideas. Great ones to stand. Looking forward to doing business with you. Hey, uh, looking forward to doing business. Huh. That's Promise. today. Promise. the evening. Power Wiles. Be on the 13th. Ooh. Creepy. The Friday the 13th. And please call me Stan. Yeah, it's got a good number for one of these British black abs. My usual guys is indisposed, so to speak. I think we might not be the only ones here. Business connoisseur? He's a snob about business? Yuck. <laughs> we 
this leave where I am writing to confirm that as your per your instruction, I have asked the staff to leave, take leave and vacate the grounds ahead of your arriving. Recall here and mention that your visitors are all collectors with a shared interest to yourself. If this is the case, would it not be preferable even or uh, desirable to keep untrusted staff member on hand to handle any uh, precious items if required? I recommend I recommend myself for this duty and do not consider it below my station for I would re relish the chance to glimpse and handle your precious items in the private should it be I'm only a short drive away if called upon and you did turn yourself for discretion in my years of service as of Grant Grant Manor I have proven to be a model of reserve probity and reliability I wait response with keen anticipation, devoted servant, JF. Hey, I think I figured out why there's no one here. What? Why? I think they must have forgot we were coming and went on a trip or something. Maybe. Do you play? Um, a little. This seems a bit more lively. Oh, we got another person. Ah, ladies. Hello, hello, welcome. Hello. Didn't exactly get explicit directions as to what to do once I got here, so... <laughs> yeah, um, same. I am so sorry. Where are my manners? My name is Stan. And you would be? Maddie. Maddie? Beautiful name. It, short for... Madeline. Madison, actually. Ah. Middle name Lexington? <laughs> what? Midtown. The Big Apple, the, the city that never sleeps. Home to the most beautiful of women and fiendishly desperate of men. Madison Avenue, okay, got it. A fitting name for such a lovely lady. Interested to stand as it is short for <laughs> casual writing for a while. Stan, that wouldn't be short for Stanford, would it? <laughs> I see my reputation precedes me. Bruno Stanford III, at your beck and call, but only if you call me Stan. Oh, Stan, this is... Lynn Da Castle. I am such a huge fan of your work. I, I am I I'm at a loss for words. I am just humbled by your presence. Uh, oh, okay. Sure. Bruno Stanford the third. <laughs> at your back end call. Only to call me Stan. Right. <laughs> sure. Truly an honor. <laughs> Truly. <laughs> wow. I didn't realize you were like famous. Famous, famous construct. And I'm not. Oh, no, there, I would beg to differ. Your modesty is only outweighed by your incredible body of work. Living and dying by the light of the moon? Transcendent. Blood on the brain? Mandatory. Forgotten flesh. I don't even know where to begin. All right, okay. Miss Castle, you are the quintessential countercultural cinematic icon of our times. I appreciate the kind words. I just didn't expect them here. Wow, so you're really the quintessential cult counter culture icon wait didn't you two come here together oh no i mean 
yeah, we drove in together, but only the last couple miles. I had some car trouble. I see. <laughs> I'm sorry. I thought that you were Miss Castle's assistant. <laughs> nope. Just me. Wait, should I be flattered or insulted by that? Oh, well, <laughs> I didn't mean. I'm just flattered you think I have an assistant. Huh? I'm sure if you did, she would not be nearly as charming as, as Miss Avenue. Your last name is Avenue? Uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> what? Did I miss something? Only that we are at a loss at what to do in the absence of our host. Wherever they may be. I guess we should keep looking around. I mean, why not at this point? Maybe our host has left something out for us. What do you do, Stan? Oh, I won't bore you with all the details, but... It involves money and fast cars and trading. But well, nothing illegal. Obvious. Oh, a bit of like bedtime reading. What the fuck? Right, the slaying of um um Bubba. Background on Bubba, guardian of the forest, grinding up, kill, ulcer, pulverize, and destroy him before. They tried to do their raft. Hmm. There is no room for mercy in the pursuit of glory. Events will not open for a champion that is going to Gilgamesh. This is definitely too dark. Oh, much better. Murder mill. Movie poster inside a cabinet. Interesting choice. Hey, either of you heard of murder mill? Holy shinobi. You're kidding, right? No. Not the only one around here who's familiar with it. Wait, this is one of yours? Mm. That's one of the first things I ever worked on. Super low budget. We had no idea what we were doing. Should never have seen the light of day. I still wish it hadn't. Why? Well, things tend to get blown out of proportion. I heard it was only screened a few times, and each time the audience flew into a rabid, murderous rage. No, no, come on. Don't try and deny it. The film is legendary. I think people were just bored out of their minds. Look, I'm sure they made you sign all sorts of non-disclosure agreements, I... What? Who? The government. When they confiscated and destroyed every existing copy of the film. Oh, give me a break. I heard they kept at least one, just in case. And the CIA's got this secret lab called Leary's Memorial Institute where they use it for enhanced interrogation. Mm. How do you know all this? I'm a fan. The doctor's uh, map the and DVD. Supposed to happen? I don't know, but I am digging the theatrics. <laughs> ah, good. I see you three have wasted no time getting acquainted with each other. I'm so very sorry for the delay in my arrival. There are a great many things that require my attention at the moment, and I would hate to have to deprive you of my full attention while we are together. <clears throat> ah, yes. And speaking of needing attention... Uh, all dried up, are we? We can't have that. After all, you're far too capable of a negotiator when you're sober. And twice that when I'm not. <laughs> Madison, would you also like a refreshment? Ah, uh, it's just Maddie. Oh, my mistake. Maddie it is. 
Oh, it's fine. Nonsense. Never be shy about what you call yourself. Your name is who you are. That's important to remember. And who are you? I call myself Augustine Lieber. Nice to meet you, Augustine Lieber. That's who we were looking for. Now that for. we are properly introduced, I must again offer you a drink. Let's do it. Hell yeah. Sure. Yeah. I'll just have whatever Stan's having. Of course. And you? No thanks. I think you may like it. Never had a drink in my life. I don't plan on starting now. I know it's been quite a long journey for you all to come here today. I hope, despite that, you'll find it'll all be worth the effort. Guess that's up to you now, isn't it? I suppose it is. Well, I'll, I'll show you mine. Do you show me yours? Aren't we a bit eager? <laughs> Manners, Mr. Stamford. Not all of us are caught up yet. Your drink. Thanks. You okay? Yeah, no, it's, it's nothing. <clears throat> Brass tacks, Augustine. I did not come all this way just for drinks. What's in there? Look, I don't know what you two have come to sell her, but... I just happen to have one of the most sought-after pieces of rare cinematic ephemera to ever hit the market. Huh. Well, that right there is the only surviving segment of film from the original camera shot celluloid of one Murder Mill. The earliest known work of a certain noted Artur, allegedly. Should be worth a small fortune. So I'm told. Hate to burst your bubble. Damn it. There goes its one of a kind value. Not quite. I. I, I never knew what it was from. You told me I had to bring this to you in person if I wanted to make it. I will keep the promises I made to you. All of you. What if I don't want to sell? Well, that would be your choice. But after 40 years of pain, why would you choose to live with more? Hmm. I have to apologize again, but there are urgent matters I must attend to in my private reliquary. You're welcome to continue to make yourselves at home until I return. I really think we need to finish discussing... All in due course, Ms. Castle. I have no idea what's going on, but we'll get to it. We were so close. I could feel the entity's force, its power pulsating through the steel mill. Until Sam Green's petty act of bravado ruined everything. The ritual disrupted. My key mangled. Yet Frank Stone didn't die that night. Mm. His essence was seared into the very foundations of the mill. An endless, agonized nightmare. I had to find the right means to awaken him. You hear like the audio clips from DVD. You just don't get it, do you? You think we're weak? That we're nothing? You make me sick. <laughs> There's just one thing you bastards will just never understand. You can tie us up, 
You can torture us. You can put us through every hellish trial your sick imaginations can come up with. But you'll never defeat our spirit. <laughs> no, no, no. My sister? Oh, God. All I have to do is betray my own sister, and you'll let me go free to fight another day. God damn you! God damn you for forcing me to make this impossible choice! Resistance is far more important than any one life, innocent or not. My sister or not. Take her! Take her, goddamn you, before I change my mind! But just know, I will hunt you down and kill every single one of you until my very last breath on this earth. And then you'll pay with your lives the ultimate price for, for, for doing bad guy stuff. You said you'd let me go free! Uh. 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 Oh, shit. I was just like really feeling the moment, you know? Thought I'd bring a little bit of that method acting magic. Well, maybe like ask me next time, okay? Okay, sure. Sorry, Chris. Every <laughs> word I write into a script is important, Jaime. Every word. Each and every last little syllable. I get it. I get it. How do we do, Linda? Was that a good one? Uh, let me check the gate. Can check the gate on these little super eights um no actually the lens doesn't come off so somebody just wanted to show off all the fancy new crap they learned from the film production books in the library mm. i'm just trying to take the craft seriously the craft geez louise <laughs> so are, are we good or what yeah i mean it looked great how did the blood gag look um well, Linda, you did like Megan Thompson. blood gag, didn't you? I mean, it's really all about how Jaime sells it. I did really sell it. Yeah, but did you get any of it in frame? You kind of see it splash up in Jaime's face a little. Oh, Linda! I told you, I wanted a wide close-up that shows off our super cool bloody arm gag and Jaime's face acting. Not just an extreme shot of Jaime's face acting. I was in the moment. I have to be allowed to express my artistic instincts with the camera, too. And there's no such thing as a wide close-up. Or an extreme shot. Or face acting. It's just acting. Does anyone even care that I'm the director? <laughs> Linda, when you're making movies, you gotta respect the director's vision and... This is Chris's film, so... Uh, Seriously? You went off book, too. Yeah, but, like, I'm the actor. Don't worry about it. Let's just go again, okay? You did it your way. Now we do it my way. Hold still. Let me clean you off. And we'll get it on this one. If we don't, you can just make it up to me in my trailer after the shoot. Yeah. Oh, it's like spearmint 
cough syrup. <laughs> yeah, all my gagging was kind of real. Mm, worth you it. You guys want me to leave? All right, all right. On your feet, people. Everybody back to one. We're going again. We are going again. Okay, sound speeds? Um, uh, camera speeds. All right, everybody settle. And hold. And hold. And action. Uh, uh. <laughs> Fuck! No! Oh, dude, that is not good. What do you think you're doing in here? Oh, uh, hi, Mr. Green. Sheriff. Oh, sheriff. look at this. Right. Sorry. It's a sheriff How from 62. I told you to stay away from this place. We were just in the middle of a take. A take? For our film production. You can't shoot a movie in here. But this is where the big climax happens. This is a condemned steel mill, Mr. Rivera. And you are trespassing. Now, unless you want to spend the night locked up in jail, I suggest you, Miss Castle, and Miss... Dixie. Miss Tammy D. Dixie. Miss Gordon. Miss Christine Gordon. I suggest you immediately vacate the premises. And you do not, under any circumstances, sit one foot back here in the Cedar Still Mill. Ever. I wonder how many years after that event Sir, this we're is, because really since 62, we is this 24? 2024? Whoa, 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 Jaime, we've got a movie that to finish. That's like 40? Know, but we have to do what the sheriff says. 50, 60 he years? He would be older than he... this. And we're very happy to do whatever the sheriff asks. And, uh, don't forget to clean up. What are we supposed to do with a busted up camera? You get it fixed. Finish your movie. <laughs> Anywhere else but here. Damn, does not appreciate his ass. Nah, he's not so bad. Usually. We're not gonna do what he says, right? Really? We can figure out how to finish the movie when we get back to the garage. I'm digging the vibe of this game. Do, 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 do. Hopefully get some more of those uh, all those collectibles we got one Billy so I'm guessing we'll get like the clown get Huntress we'll get a couple other ones probably maybe the doctor all wrapped out sir thank you Jaime now remember what I said because I'm not gonna warn you again yes sir It's like a car like uh, Hopper. Jim Hopper. Stranger Things. Oh, uh, yeah, the graphics look so good. <laughs> Very nice. A curiosity of on Main Street. We're jumping back again? Or is this? Oh, okay. So this is a 1980. Okay, that makes sense. So this is like 18 years later. Okay, so he's like in his like late 30s, early 40s. A cop. If he was in his early 20s when he was a, when he, back then. Okay, I understand. I I see where we're at now. So then we're jumping into three different time zones: the previous 1962, 1980, and then future is 1924. It's 2024. Don't be so dramatic. Or the 80s, baby. Real deadline. 
Who needs a real deadline when every wasted second brings you closer and closer to your ultimate cosmic eternal deadline? Gothic? I like it. Hey, what are these? Oh, I got those for us all to wear when we shoot. Surprise. The Murder Mill t-shirts so that we get a DVD. Hey. It'll I like that. Yeah, me? I like that Easter egg. So you'll be like our ambassador. So cool. <laughs> yeah. I love these collabs. Oh, yeah. They're so cool. Hmm. Be fun. Whoa! Don't open that up. I still haven't taken the film out yet. I thought it was broken. Well, yeah, the lens is cracked, but the footage is still good, unless you know you open it. Ugh, whatever. We got some good stuff today. Glass half full. Dude, just let me be upset. <sighs> Doesn't Sheriff Green have anything better to do with his time? Like, go after actual criminals and shit? Cedar Hill is not exactly a noted hotbed of criminal activity. That's not entirely true. There was that whole serial killer thing. Hold up, what now? When was this? Uh, I was just a baby. I don't really know anything about it. Oh, you're still just a baby. And you <laughs> still don't know anything. Now, be a good little baby and tell me all about this whole serial killer business. I know some stuff. Spill it, lady. For starters, I think that's why Sheriff Green doesn't want us to go in the steel mill. Oh, yeah, that's where it all went down. So you do know stuff. <gasps> and you held back, you traitor. Yeah, because I knew you'd get all like this. Hell dun, yeah, dun, dun. I would. Linda, tell me about the steel mill killer. Well, that's where it all Break ended. Still. But before that, there was a whole string of disappearances. Kidnappings, really. Murders. <sighs> so yeah, by daylight, baby. Name? Maybe we should write him into the movie. Oh, I don't know if we... Frank Stone. Huh. So, Frank Stone was actually killing people in the steel mill? Like, our steel mill? Where we were just shooting, like, an hour ago? That's the theory. Frank was working at the mill, but I think it was on its last legs by then. Probably not a lot of people around. They shut it down right after. Ooh, let's see. Who are the victims? Just people. Some from the town. Some were never identified. The killings were random. There was no pattern. Like, how many are we talking? No one knows for sure. Because they never found the bodies. They found parts. Do you know what this means? That we need a new location? No, dummy. That we already have the best location. How do you... Think about it. Our movie shot in a real-life murder mill? You can't buy that kind of publicity buster. I don't know about that. People are actually going to want to see this thing. We're going to be, like, totally famous. Okay, sure. We might get some butts in seats, but, like, what if they don't like what they see? Then we just gotta make sure these last couple of scenes are gonna blow the top of their heads off. Ah, uh, fuck! But not if our fucking camera is fucking broken! Uh. <laughs> hey, I knew one. Why don't we just take the camera to the drugstore and see if we can get it fixed? Oh. So, yeah, the thing is, I kinda spent the rest of the budget on the t shirts. <laughs> Unless you know of anybody looking to get into film finance, we're kinda shit out of luck. <laughs> What? Uh, um. You want a piece of me too? Howdy, partner. Are you okay? Yeah, but that. Hey, you okay? What's up? Nothing. It's fine. Hmm. Didn't sound fine. As soon as mom got sick, I dropped everything in my whole life in New York to come home and help. And all he does is act like I'm not doing enough. It's like he doesn't even care what I had to give up. I'm sure he's just worried about mom. Yeah, so am I. That's why I'm here. The least he could do is try not to drown me like I'm 16. Totally. What is he thinking, right? Sorry, I guess I just needed to blow off some steam. I get it. The last thing mom needs is for us to be screaming at each other. It's true. Yeah, and you've been doing an incredible job. I mean it. I, I don't know what we'd do without you. Uh-oh. 
What? Why? Linda, where's the Jaime bell? <laughs> ring, ring. <laughs> What's the Jaime bell? My darling brother has the tendency to uh, lay it on a little thick whenever he's about to ask for a favor. No, I'm just speaking from the heart. Okay. What do you need from me? Um, well, we're making this movie, and we're so close to finishing, but we just need a little extra bit of money. Of course you do. What else <laughs> is new? What Jaime's trying to say is our camera got busted today, and we need a few bucks to get it fixed. Ouch. How much do you need? Nervous. Just like 20 bucks would probably cover it. 20 bucks. <laughs> that ain't pocket change. <laughs> That's how much Dude, you know, you know, uh, nowadays it is. Bro, inflation. We're trying to make this bucks thing pocket good change, bro. And good don't come cheap. Even for the poor. It's, a, huh. it's like half a gas tank for now. You guys really needed to finish the film? Yeah. All right, I'm in. Who am I to stand hey. in the way of art? You won't regret it. Oh, and I get the garage tonight. What? Why? Because I need it. This is where all our editing stuff is. Well, that's the deal. Take it or leave it. Uh, all right, it's a deal. Try not to waste it. Don't worry. We'll put it to good use. Hey. Let's go get ourselves a new camera. You all right there? You're looking a little, uh, wiggly. I'm fine, it's just... Uh, what is in that fake blood? I think it's just mint-flavored real blood. Oh, it did say to avoid any prolonged skin contact. You oh. washed it all off, like, right away, right? Uh, you don't think it's, like, actually poisonous, do you? It's <laughs> a horror movie, Jaime. Anyone could go? Yeah. <laughs> Time. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, there's enough time to fix the After camera before they tonic, tonight. I'm not that's... sure the drugstore clerk will even know how to fix it. Hey, the clown. Positive. It's not like there's anywhere else in town we could take it. Bro, what if, like, what if he's in it? The, the the actual guy. The place was condemned. Guess they got a new tenant. Do curiosity shops even repair cameras? There was a place like that near my grandfather's house. The owner used to tinker with all sorts of old junk. You never know. The lighting in this game is yeah, so nice. Too. Your call, Chris. Drugstore. Let's go to drugstore. Drugstore. I don't want to risk missing our chance. Are you sure? What sure if the clown, what if the guy is in there? It's before he gets yeah, transported. That'd be so cool. Maybe we'll find some more. Uh... Drugstore. Ooh. After he So, who's going to do the honors? The honors? Talk to the clerk. You're afraid to talk to a drugstore clerk? <sighs> no, I'm just You just don't want to haggle, do you? Hey, I already completely debased myself to get the money from my sister. I know you're all nervous to talk to the big scary drugstore clerk, but just think about it like acting, which you're great at. Uh, you know how to act too. Yeah, but people around here actually like you. I don't know. That's the secret ingredient for most celebrities. Anybody can act. Well, some people can act. But making people like you is like a superpower. Well, I'm pretty charming. That's why I love ya! Mwah! <laughs> oh, brother. <laughs> Break a leg, you're gonna knock him dead. Okay. Keep that up and his head's not gonna fit out the door. Yeah, um, got a weird one for ya. <laughs> This camera. Um, Honestly, what he looks like. So, uh, it's not pretty. The lens is busted, and I don't know if you guys are able to help with something like that, but we really need to get it fixed. So, I just figured I'd come in and check. 
I could so, so yeah. find a place for these emergency. El Bruto Parker. The firecracker is boom, they go bang. Absolutely do not. Waterlogged shoe. Her name's for trials. She tells me not to rush. Ooh. I may better wield his charm to get us a good deal. Be long dairy milk. This is Benny Baker. I hope they're found. We're so close to finishing the movie. Fear trap. Best First movies? Effort. Really? The Dark Mythology of the Lost Movie by Joe Blue. There are those films that have been lost over time, which in their absence have developed an aura of mystery. These lost movies have fascinated film historians and conspiracy theorists alike, not because they wish to marvel about the performance of the actors or the craft of the director, but because they believe through whatever remnants of footage they can cobble together, they may gain a glimpse into a darker reality realized only by the camera. Most associated with the production have uh, distanced themselves from the rumors around disappearance and most that in the surviving footage of any scenes involving Dean. One never fails to observe a strange rolling fog in the desert background. Perhaps there really was something lurking in the desert waiting for this moment to come forth and claim the film star for his, his own quiz. Andy D. There's a long lineage of lost movies built in Park Myth. Is that a toolbox? Is that a toolbox? It is. Oh, another one. Was oh, that the one we found? Man, if this is a bust and we can't finish the movie, fucking tragic. Yeah. I think if the world's deprived of murder mill, there's an outside chance it'll keep turning. Come on. Facts. Linda, what's the <laughs> deal? All right, look. Just be straight with me. What's the deal with you and Jaime? What do you mean? All that lovey-dovey shit back there. Uh, you said, I love you. Uh, I said I love him because I love him. You met two months ago, and you've only been going out for like three weeks. And you're already throwing down the L word? Come on. Whoa, easy there, mom. That's just, it's kind of fast. That's all I'm saying. Excuse me, young ladies, but is there something I can help you with? Oh, hey you. <laughs> Hi, Robert. You quit working at the library? Ah, those are just volunteer hours. Now you're looking at an honest to goodness working stiff. Oh, income security is a very attractive quality in a man. So is access to book reservations. <laughs> so, bad news, good news, super good news kind of situation. Bad news first, always. The bad news is they can't fix the camera. Ah, 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 ah. <laughs> Don't you want to hear the good news? What's the good news? The good news is Robert Greene's working in the drugstore now. <laughs> Ta-da! Uh, we already knew that? Yeah, for like at least 30 seconds. Keep up with the times, Jaime. Gotta keep up. <laughs> so, wait, what's the super good news? Oh, yeah. I got some of these puppies. <laughs> Firecrackers? 
Dude, you didn't just spend all the money on those, did you? They're just like five bucks. That's a lot. Don't worry. Still got plenty left for the camera. You better. Curiosity shop's probably still open if you want to see if they'll fix it. Yeah, let's head over there. What's the camera for? Dude, we're making the most killer horror movie the world's ever seen. No shit. Well, we were, until your dad broke our camera. He did what? It was an accident. We were shooting at the old mill, and he was not pleased. <sighs> I was, I was going to say, surprised. they look alike. He's always got his eye on that place. Yeah, when he kicked us out, he was like... Intense, more intense than I've ever seen him. I don't think there's any chance we'll get back in there today. I probably shouldn't be telling you this, but there's more than one way into that mill. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. If you get the camera situation sorted out, you let me know. Message received. Let's just check it out. It's not like we have anything to lose. Come on! I was gonna say, I remember seeing the the face, the faces of both of them, and they both looked the, the, very similar. The, their father and son. Looks like it's been here forever. And a half. Maybe you should write it in. Don't tempt me. What if the owner is a deranged serial killer who collects wayward teenagers and? turns them into antiques then we hit the jackpot check out the wares oh cameras uh these look like they've seen better days they're not gonna put the best ones in the window we gotta look inside shall we if this is a trap and we're walking right into the lair of the tchotchke chopper i'm selling you out first chance i get likewise compadre It seems like it's open. Let's just take a look around and see what we can find. How can you find anything in a place like this? Getting lost is half the fun. M maybe nobody's home. Bummer. I was hoping to show off how good I am at haggling. And again, if we find a camera, we could just walk on out with it. That's not... I'm not saying we should just steal something. Who's gonna notice? There's like a bajillion things in this place. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't feel right. I just want to get this movie <laughs> made any way we can. Bug it. Why don't we spread out? Start over there. Oh, the Huntress. Oh, cute bunny. Oh. The lullaby. Huntress lullaby. Oh, Ray, Ray Sweppin. I don't know what that is, but it looks painful. Oh shit. Yo, that's cool. Your well, owning this place before had some lousy letter luck. will serve to confirm the agreement regarding the sale of Ned's nutty knickknacks. All the relevant legal paperwork has been. Based on our ships, if there is any lesson to be drawn from this, it's the, the, the fire theft and nothing from the cedar mills. The uh, birth for all the time is a great healer. Available to often or 
recently. This. The crows. It's D. So, I've been thinking. About gothic romance novels? Yes. But no, about the movie. I think we could really strengthen the narrative if we just shoot an extra scene. Like, what kind of extra scene? There's, I don't know, a scene where they- Trapper! <laughs> Imagine cuddling up to that- Smiling night. successor of the movie. Creepy. What was I? Oh, yeah. There's, I don't know, a secret. <laughs> Ooh, that's creepy. Huh? I'm glad to see you're all having fun. But if you insist on using my store as a playground, I'm afraid I'm going to have to ask you to take it outside. Oh my gosh, I, I'm, I'm so sorry. Just make sure you put it back where you found it. Wait, we're just looking for something to replace this? Oh, I see. We're making a film, and we broke it. Got anything that could help us? With all the cameras in the window, we just thought we'd see... There was one thing. I'm just not sure I still have it. I'll have to look in my back room for a few moments, if you don't mind waiting. We don't mind. I'll just be a minute. Ten to one, she brings as a photo camera. <laughs> or a telescope. Shh. Give her a minute. In, in no, maybe in this one. Oh, yes, mm. here you are. She comes running out straight at us with a giant chainsaw. I'm gonna be like so bummed out. You're in luck. Oh, a very fine item indeed. Yes. Whoa. But may I? I insist. It's pretty old. Possible we could make it work, but it's not exactly what we had in mind. Mm-hmm. Uh, how much are you asking for it? Oh, there's a tiny little price tag on it, but I seem to have forgotten my reading glasses. Why don't you take a look? <laughs> Gonna lie. Fifteen bucks. Hey, there you go. That's just to be appreciated. Okay. Sure. I think that seems reasonable for something like this. Thank you very much. Thanks for finding us a camera. Oh, it was no trouble at all. It truly is such a joy to see young people so passionate about the arts. Yeah. Yep, that's us. I wonder why they were all inside that store. It's it's weird. I hope I hope they exp Ooh, some Dead by Daylight sound effects. Very nice. I have worn many masks over the centuries. Dr. Augustine Lieber was renowned, professional, and trusted. Frank Stone confided in me. 
allowed me to unlock his potential during those dark days in the psychiatric ward. And now, a new guise. A new timeline. A new chance. Oh, shit. Giving them the camera, I admit, was unfair, even for me. They couldn't know what power they held in their hands. Oh. Nor what cruelty awaits them in the steel mill. But what true creator wouldn't suffer for their art? Oh, shit. That was her. Oh, shit. Oh, that makes sense. That's why everything was in there. That's scary. Oh, that's crazy. Are you okay? Uh, yeah. Guess I just dozed off a bit. Wait, what happened to Augustine again? She left. L left? She said she had to do something very urgently in her private reliquary. Hey, now that we're all awake again, can we forget about Augustine for a minute and talk about the a thousand foot long elephant in the room? Thousand, oh. Thousand feet is the average length of film in a movie? Oh. Guess we were all playing it close to the vest before, huh? It's not my film. I, I didn't, I just worked on it. Didn't direct it. It's not even on my official filmography. I meant how we were all holding back about our film strips. Oh, right. Whether you take credit for it or not, it's definitely the most infamous project that's uh, associated with you. Cursed film collectors have been unsuccessfully searching for any trace of it for years. And now we are all here, each with our own little slice of a mysterious pie. It's a pretty big deal. Pretty big so deal, man. All of our film strips, they're part of this movie you and your friends made, Linda? If they're not fakes, yeah. Mine's not fake. And all that stuff you said about it being cursed? Murderous rages, CIA interrogation, total disassociation with reality. Because it's so rare, only a few people know for sure. So is it. If Augustine wants the only known surviving pieces of it, <laughs> she's gonna have to pay up. Why do you think she wants it so bad? I mean, it's not really cursed, right? I prefer not to dwell on the past. We're here, someone's offering to buy our sections of the film. That is all I'm concerned with right now. Providence goes a long way towards a successful sale. So do motives. I don't know about you, but I would very much like to know why Augustine is so desperate to get her hands on this film. Well, first rule of business is to gather every bit of intel you can on your opponents. I don't know about you two ladies, but I have been itching to get a little look-see around this big old house of curiosities. <laughs> Are we allowed to look around? What do you say, Director? Want to keep sitting around or want to peek behind the curtain? <laughs> Let's do it. What are you waiting for? Ooh. It's gonna get spicy dicey up in here. Go exploring. Gotta be rebels. This is what provides entertainment well, now, for everyone. This is a real bold statement kind of room, you know what I mean? That was pretty cool. New Augustine got cash, but not like this kind of cash. That's some prime real estate like right there. Your mark as well as you thought. In business, we don't call them marks. Hustling is a racket, not a business. I wouldn't underestimate my scouting skills. If I were you, but rattling around up here, that could be mutually beneficial. Why don't you tell me how you know so much about Murder Mill? I'm a big fan. It's your first credit. Cut the shit, man. 
Okay. You want to know the truth? When I first heard about it, I didn't believe it was real. But the more I looked into it, the more breadcrumbs I found. And the further I followed the trail, the more fascinated I became. Not just in the film, it, in the legend. Whether you meant to or not, you created a monster with this movie. Even if it isn't really cursed, the fact that everyone believes it is makes it real. Believing in something doesn't make it real. Well, that's why I had to find out for myself. It took me a couple years, but when the opportunity came for me to actually acquire a genuine piece of it, I... I jumped at the chance. And just how did you acquire it, exactly? Hey, uh, just catching up. So, what have you guys found? Not much. But the night's young. Not as young as you think. The night's She's young. Looking around. Spooky. Spooky. Yeah. Dude. Kind of this place would make an incredible film location. Oh, this game looks so good. I love your outfit, by the way. Up here. Oh. Ah, yes. Let's check out the other floors. Good thinking. Wait. H hold on a second. What? Before all this goes any further, I need to know how both of you got your pieces of the film. Um, well, it's no secret, really. Um, after my mom died a few months ago, I found it when I was going through her stuff. Maddie, what was your mom's name? Both, or...? Was it Bonnie Rivera? Yeah, it... How did you know that? You look just like her. Did hmm. you know my mom? A long time ago. A whole other lifetime. Her younger brother, Jaime, was one of my closest friends. Uncle Jaime? I, um... I never met him. I hadn't heard that Bunny had passed. Yeah, it was pretty sudden. Wow. Daddy, that's... It's quite sad. Very... Touching. <laughs> that's so weird. Thing. And what about you, Stan? Where'd you get your piece of the film? Well, now that is a very good question. <laughs> Alienated from you. <laughs> and an expensive one, too. Hmm. But you know what? Since I am such a big fan of your work, I'll give you a little taste. Free of charge. I can't tell you who I got it from or why they had it. I will tell you that I acquired it from them completely by the book in a very honorable game of chance. You won it? Fair and square. Who the fuck would be gambling with it? They have no right. Ah. <laughs> well, it seems like you're more attached to this little project than what you've been letting on. You don't just gamble away something like that. Oh, it's the cow tree. <laughs> it looks like the cow tree. Ooh, the Billy. Missing a piece, though. Oh, his hand. He's a, he's missing his uh his little stick, whatever he uses to hit people with. Wow, powerful resemblance. Whoa, quite a piece. Look at the metalwork. It's beautiful. Or 
Frank Stone. Face of evil. Sensationalist trash. Sam Green took down Frank Stone. I could write a better book than this. Huh? Faithful and I had sent one of my deputies to take it on. Not my friend. Flatfoot would. I would stay at my liking. All he had to find and report back on anything. But then Tommy called. I knew this. Standing before the furnace, I thought I'd step into the very depths of hell itself. And there was Stone standing on the platform like a twisted gargoyle, a tiny bundle of it held in it. I am not afraid to admit I was scared. I had only a moment to act before I was all before all was lost. So I drew my gun, breath, and sent a prayer that my strike true. Stone's corpse wasn't even cold before a whole bunch of out-of-towners descended on Cedar Hills trying to grab the piece of action. Lawyers, reporters, rubberneckers, more than a few weren't satisfied with what they found. They wanted to make conspiracy out of it. Said he must have had an accomplice to do what he did. Me? I don't buy it. Never have. That's because I know firsthand that he acted alone. Saw it with my own eyes. So, too all those who claim otherwise I say this one monster was enough for skills not true because there's someone else there I should check on Maddie can't be easy meeting someone from her mom's past yeah and what would you do if it was you here instead of me? You sure would get a kick out of this place. And then you'd probably kick me out of this place and keep it all to yourself. Who are you talking to? Mm, uh, no, I... I wasn't... I could hear you. I was talking to my mom. To Bonnie. I've just felt so, like empty since she died like i'm sleepwalking through a nightmare and i just can't seem to wake up it never gets easier when you lose someone but it does become less suffocating i hope so because sometimes i just feel like i'm going crazy like she really is out there guiding me trying to tell me something that's why I came here. It felt like that's what she wanted me to do. I know you said it had been a really long time, but can you tell me anything about her from when you knew her? Ah, uh, gosh. Well, she was the most intimidating girl I've ever met. Even after I got to know her. She did everything she wanted to do and nobody could stop her. <laughs> and that sounds like mom. Any good stories? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, there is something I've been thinking about. I've never told anyone else. It was a long time ago. We were just kids making a movie. Jaime, Chris, and me. Everything's still so fuzzy about what happened, but... There's one thing that always just stuck in my mind. Clear as a bell. That night, we were on our way home from picking up a new camera. We were driving past the Rivera's house. The garage door was wide open, full of light. And the craziest fucking sound you ever heard was just tearing out of there in every direction. Oh, that's her mom. Okay. Right in the middle of it all was Bonnie. I, I don't think I've ever seen anyone so completely in tune with themselves. Oh, wow. So she's the girl with the ponytails. Oh. What mattered was that moment. Nothing else. was your mom.
Oh wow. Thank you. I can see it in her face now. Hey guys. Ah, oh, okay. Four years Look. later, so yeah, she's in her sixties. What? Something. I don't see anything. Yeah, I can see it in her face now. Ah. There. Right there. Oh my god, there's someone out there. Great. If this plot gets any thicker, it's gonna need a new pair of jeans. Huh. Um, do you guys think we should be worried? I mean, what if they're dangerous? Maybe we should find Augustine and let her know. Even if you wanted to tell her, good luck finding her. She said she was going to her private reliquary. That's a place for artifacts, right? There's artifacts all over the place. Right. So, if you were gonna have a private place for extra special, extra valuable artifacts, maybe you'd put them behind a door like that. You've got a point. Can't we just knock? I doubt anything can get through that, including sound. Which means it might be the safest place to be, whether Augustine's in there or not. Okay. 